Let me tell you a little bit about myself before I start. I'm, I'm really amazed that I can talk here right now because if they asked me to do this a few years ago, I would have definitely rejected it. I used to be the shy kid in the back of the class and I was really scared of socializing. But everything changed when I met a friend in fourth grade. We instantly connected through our love of books. But what amazed me about her is that she's really good at socializing. She's friends with everyone and everyone likes her. It's surprising because I usually thought that people who love reading were stereotyped as shy. But as I observed her and I came closer to her, I realized that reading actually really helps us socialize. So however ironic this may sound, today I'm going to prove how reading improves our socializing abilities. First of all, we know the classic fact that reading expands our knowledge and in our imagination, but being smart, how does it relate to having socializing abilities? Well, first of all, it gives you a wide range of topics to talk about. So you can stop using the dreaded small talk. No, people just want to talk about their interests. And reading gives you knowledge about a lot of people's interests, which helps you connect to more people. This also helps you to not get left out of conversations just because you don't know the topic. We, knowing about a lot of things also makes you interesting, and this makes people want to know about you. So it makes socializing come a bit more naturally and easier. You know that funny people are usually very attractive, and reading actually helps you become funny. Science says that reading improves creativity, verbal, verbal abilities, and reasoning. And science also says that these traits make you funny. Besides that, the humor in books, especially for funny characters, really influence you and gives you a strong sense of humor. And in turn, also helps you understand other people's humor. So, next time you get or people tell you a witty joke, you don't just laugh out of awkwardness, but you can respond accordingly. As the saying says, laughter is the best message and really highlights your speech and conversation with people. Besides this, reading also helps you understand people because there are so many people with different personalities, quirks, and emotions, and probably you've met a new person and you don't know how to react to them. But when you read books, especially fiction books, you get to know lots of characters with different emotions, personalities, and you know how to react to people when they're probably sad, they're angry. You don't actually offend them and you can act in a way that makes you like them. Lastly, reading also gives you a great personality. First of all, it makes you curious. According to the Greater Good Science Center, curious people have better relationships and are a social group. Why? This is because they're interested in people. They ask a lot of questions. And this makes your conversations more open and engaging and makes you memorable. Reading also makes you open-minded, which means you approachable. When you're open-minded, you're less quick to judge people, and you're more likely to accept people with different views instead of opposing them. You're also open to judgments, and you like it when people disagree with you. You want to listen to their opinions. Reading also increases your empathy. Empathy means the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. And just from this definition, you can see that it makes you bond easily, on an emotional level with people. This also increases people's trust in you and you give off a positive vibe which people like. So the next time you look at the bookstore, don't think of it as a toy store for shy people. You know that books help you be more connected to people, be more funny, understand people, and also give you a great personality. And as future leaders, we need to break stereotypes that reading is boring.